ladies and gentlemen. I've had some a good idea come in on the channel. I had a lot of people seconding and thirding and yesing and amening the idea that we run the re some of more some more, some of more of these Yukon missions in time lapse because it has just taken so long to get this stuff done and I'm tired of it. I think you guys are probably tired of it. We need to move on to Big Salmon Peak and then get out of here and move on to the next set of series. So um, I want to get this done, and then we're going to head to Alaska and get that done. But this is just taking too freaking long. So I'm going to start a time lapse. We're in the new Jeep Renegade. I don't know even why I have this, but I'm just going to use it for now. Uh, and then we'll uh, probably dump it off. But uh, we're going to have fun get this done. So we're going to go into time lapse mode. Uh, my microphone is going to get turned off, and you'll just hear the trucks in really fast motion. Uh, and I might put some music down. But we're going to get this done lickety split because we need to get done. When I get to some of the cooler missions, like using the 770G to get the um, that big trailer down off the mountain, um, I'll slow that down and we'll talk through that. But for these delivery missions, we're just going to time lapse it. So here we go. Three, two, and one. Right, we're going to finish this up. We've arrived at the station, and I wanted to 
Empty the cargo with you guys present and accounted for. All right, four of eight. Because this is the end of this mission, which took us many, many episodes. It stops swearing. My wife's playing Minecraft and swearing and dropping stuff all over. Oh, yeah, the facility is complete. Gold horse mining. Oh, my wife just got killed by a gold. Uh, $36,000. That's not a bad pay. We're up to 1.7 mil, plus a bunch of trucks to sell. 4,000 experience. And there we go. All right, so what's next? Uh, let's take a look at the agenda here and see what uh, we got going on. I don't know. Oh, my gosh. What do we need? So these will be a little bit easier, it looks like. Conveyor section three is there. And they said watch out because it does block um, cabin zone one. Where is that? We should have cabins in cabin zone one already. Uh, conveyor belt section three. All right. Section two. Where's our where is our base of operations? Right there. And section one. So it looks like we're gonna want to and oh, this road sucks through here. But we're gonna have to do these let's see, four consumables. So we're gonna still need two twin steers for this one at least. Uh, we're gonna do set we're doing an order section one, two, and three. Activate. We've got one cabin already. Cabin zone two has two cabins. So we're good there. Um, and so we need four consumables, two fuels, and two metal beams. So I'm going to go ahead and once again, we'll, we'll zap up to fast motion and uh, get all of that done. I'll probably just get these trucks back off camera and then we'll pick up at the shop owner service them and stuff. But uh, let's see where we're going to get consumables from. Um, yep, they got consumables here. We need four of those. Fuel, yep, metal beams, not so much. But there is metal framing with one beam. Shoot. And one beam here. So we could pick up. Oh, that's going to take a full truck load also, son of a biscuit so uh, it's going to be a couple trips i think we can do our freight liner with a twin steer and then um a twin steer by itself for the metal framing and that'll get us all done in one or two trips Ugh. you have any idea how hard it is <laughs> that's going to cabin zone one this road Ugh, as you guys know, you've seen me travel it before. It's just so bad. I think we have to come back around here and then come this way. What, honey? Um, so. Man. I think we have to go. I'm looking at the road right now. What's the way to get? I mean, we could. Nah. This island is just such a mess. There's really no good roads on the island, honestly. Um, we could try to cross here. Mm, I don't know. There's something there. But but in general, like for the other two, we're going to have to at least come back here. Um, but I'm thinking, yeah, we're probably going to have to go back this way. Great. <laughs> um, all right. Well, let's just see how this goes. All right. I'm going to go to fast motion. See you guys in just a minute.
It's happened. This is the uh, worst road on the map. Oh, look. Oh, there's a glimmer of hope. Um. <laughs> uh, I, I'm not sure exactly what to do here aside from obviously get this flipped over, but I think I might want to just deliver these packages two at a time. I believe the stupid twin steer just flipped over there. Uh, because um, activate anchor to get that flipped over and loaded where we're at right now is a complete and total disaster. So I think it's going to be easier. We're really close to the end point. Or not. Uh. <sighs> set this down. There we go. Why is that one all white and the other one's blue? Okay, well, whatever. Um, and then we're going to pack the cargo, restore the crane, and let's work our way over for the first time. The problem is this road gets really bad, and the twin steer is the one that's got the tires to deal with these ruts. There's no part of this mission that has been easy, but as you've seen from this, the fast motion, we've been sailing along pretty well. Until now, I think I don't really want to try to risk. I guess we're going to have to. I don't know what to do. We just don't have any like mud monsters that can handle this kind of terrain. I mean, this this is like the best I got aside from the twin steer. <sighs> You know, I wonder if our if our military, the ank that we used in that one episode, could help me out here. Um, we could load the ank up with the last. We could load this and the ank, and then use the ank to pull us through this muck. Um, we only have one run with it though, because the gas mileage is so deplorable on the ank um, that we'd run out of fuel after one run. But 
Gosh dang it. Yeah, this is what's going to happen. Okay, let me see what to do. Um, it never goes smoothly, does it? Let's go to this. We're going to have to go to the truck store because obviously I've put the ink away. So let's go ahead and buy a, a gank. There it is. Customize this. Big engine. Off-road gearbox. Tune custom suspension. Inco tires. We want the... Uh, got these big mud tires. That's what we're going to be using. Winch. Advanced. Medium. Spare tire. Nah. Snorkel. Yeah. And let's see, front side. We don't need any of that stuff. Probably get one with some lights on it. That'll work. And maybe some more lights up here. Exhaust. Yeah, that's sweet. Rolled exhaust. That's the only rims that we get. Can we match our company red? No. Sure. Uh, probably that one. Now, these all look weird. These are all flat, so that works. That's the closest thing we got. Rescue time. Rescue rangers. When there's danger, you know it never fails. Uh, all right, so if we go, where is our accident? It is right there. I think our truck is the yeah, ice trying to cross there. So if we go to the left, right, and then try to cross here. Okay, so past that road, second road. It's starting to be night, too, which is not going to help. We're trying to get across there fast. This truck should be able to cross the river fairly easily. It's a pretty monstery truck, you know. That's the other road, so we should be coming up here pretty quick to this, which looks like a crossing. So let's get this rescue underway. And uh, but we're good. We, uh, we should be able to finish this mission. And one more trip back here. I'm gonna test the crossing, and we'll see if this actually isn't too bad. Then maybe for the next time, when we have our metal beams, we can just cross here. I doubt that. Uh, yeah. See that goes off to the left. And the, whoops, the road that we're trying to cross is up there. Is that where we're going? Oh, my gosh, it's hard to tell. I think that's it back there. So let's look under the water and see what we see. Let's see if there's a route for us to cross. That's the road over there. Oh, no, my wife just died in Minecraft. That looked like a bad one, too. Did you, did you fall? She's not talking to me. That's not good. Okay, looks like we're going to make it. Twin Steer probably would make this, too. You can see the rocks are underneath us, so we're good. Though it is... We are getting washed downstream pretty heavily. Uh. Why did you do what? You dug a hole there? I don't know. Why did you put a hole there? She put a hole somewhere and then ended up falling into it. I don't know. Every time I come over by your house... Every time I come over to your house, I get scared because, like, you, there are holes all over the place. We're going to use the eighth of a tank just getting this far.
This is horrible. This whole area is bad, just plain old bad. But this truck's tires help us get through it, but it is, look at this mess. Oh man, no, no. <laughs> What's the matter, babe? Are you gonna die again? Oh boy, she's dying again. Okay, so we need to go. Take your time. Is your stuff down there? Oh, man. Well, don't go, don't rush, just think. Is there a way to block the water off and go down dry? Can you lower the water level so you're not like so? That probably would be your best bet is to try to get it like so you still fall into water but you don't die. That I don't have an answer to. It was one of the things you were carrying a pickaxe? Well, I dig your way, make staircase up. Shoot. Where is this road supposed to go? This is where I'm having a hard time. They got a bridge for us to get there. But we can't. <laughs> where the heck? I'm so lost right now. Um, and of course, it's turning into night. We're gonna have to fast forward today. Stupid twin steer. I mean, these roads are once again. I saw these roads, and I'm like, man, I don't know if that twin steer is gonna be able to make it through here. And sure enough, it wasn't. This truck can though. Uh, all right, so we should actually be seeing our truck really soon here because we're right on the other side of the. Wait, this is, is this where we crossed? What? Ow. Come on. Is, so that's the road in front of us? Okay, this is the road. Okay. And the problem with this truck is in, is visible right now. We're going we're gonna to be out of gas already. I mean, I'm, not, I'm exaggerating, but it's just eating gas. It's so dark. Oh, my God. Are you kidding? Thankfully, we only have to do this one like 18 times. This is insane. I could see bringing it across the river where I went across. I think next time when I'm doing the metal, I think I might just use this truck and ferry it back and forth across the river because that was easy to get to that spot. But this is the nightmare. And I, unfortunately, I got all those fuels back there. I wanted to get those too. <sighs> oh, well, you can make all the plans in the world, but doesn't mean the world's necessarily going to cooperate with your plans. Uh, this water's really deep. We got the bubbly tire, so we're just kind of floating across. But, like, I don't think I can even bring the... Well... I don't know. Let me think about how to handle this. If we can get the twin steer upright, I bet you we can get it through here. So let's take care of this first. Um... Why 
Why am I not able to get into crane mode? What? Urgh. Oh, the engine's not started. Okay. My wife's having a rough night. <laughs> Minecraft at its best, right? Oh, I should have turned the other truck off, but oh well. We'll have to go fast. Unpack cargo. Yep. Crane mode. There we go. It might be actually easier to go out away from this rock. It looks like it's really deep and muddy here, and then there's rocks about there. But I don't know. Sometimes the rocks can help. Sometimes they're terrible. So I don't know. Chuck it. Who's Boris? Boris is a naughty villager. I know the villagers are terrible. They're stupid as all get out. this up. Oh, we should probably pack that too. Can I use some of this fuel? Alright. I just don't think the freight liner's ever going to make it o over there, but. No, 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 Boris, no, Boris, no. <laughs> All right, restore the crane. Boris! My poor wife. Boris is a naughty villager. Naughty villager! I'm going to head back and see if I can help the twin steer now that I'm unloaded. Which is my, that was my idea in the first place was to get this thing delivered. But. I need to get the cargo off, so. And you can see here just how bad this road is. Man. So you guys got lots of fast motion as we did the easy stuff, and now we're in the, the muck, and I'll keep you on until we get this sorted. Come on. This truck just hardly can. It's barely making it. You can see I tried to cut down through here, and it just, as soon as I got into the mud, my wheels sank in, and the truck just went over. There was nothing I could really do except for not go that way at all, ever, and I don't know. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a break, and I'm switching to morning. Wait, morning. Because we need the light. second thing we're going to do is winch up.
and get the twin back over. There we go. Fuel is also, if you haven't noticed, getting a little bit desperate for our twin steer. What the heck are you doing back there? Yeah, you. Just kill Boris and get another villager. Survival of the fittest, darling. Boris, you were the weakest link. She did it. <laughs> Whatever she's doing, she did it. All right, so we have gotten the twin steer in the right attitude. Now I need to get this truck where I can actually load all of these, but I don't. That's going to take a couple steps probably. So activate anchors, get the crane out, pick up this box. Is he named after Boris Yeltsin? Or Boris Johnson? Uh-oh, Boris is about to die. Boris has ceased living. Hey, don't forget to catch our mine, Minecraft streams. About once a week I stream Minecraft. We have a lot of fun. What? Yeah, this is one you don't want to watch. All right, so get this back the right way. Okay, now let's go to this one. Come on, pick. Seriously, okay. And we'll pack that here. That's done. Okay, now the big question is where do I go Uh, to get these last two packages onto the truck. The tree's got me stuck. And I have a feeling I'm probably going to... Alfie, don't you dare. Uh, I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to sacrifice the fuel out of this truck, and we'll deal with it later. Um... It's not as close as I wanted to be, so we're going to go back and try again. <laughs> well, what's an episode of SnowRunner without a good spill? Even at high speed, we still need at least one or two good tip-overs. So let's... Uh Get out! No! <laughs> All right, bring it down a notch. Jeez. Did he die? Yeah. Oh God! No, no, do it, Boris, Wait, what's? What is? What are you doing? Oh, you! This stupid crane! Why would you grab the truck? Grab? Uh, you know what's going on here? It's because these are flipped upside down. It can't target them. That sucks. It's not our place to ask why, just to accept that that's how the Minecraft villagers go. <laughs> the villagers are suicidal, you know that. Okay, so I'm going to drop that there, and I'm going to put this uh, restore everything and shut the chun stop engine. And we are going to refuel. Let's see. That's the freight liner. <laughs> We're going to leave some gas in it in case we need to operate the crane. 
the Western Star Twin Steer, we need to pack the cargo. This is a bid for victory. It may turn into a defeat. This is like that. Trying to get a field goal on fourth down and 20. To win the game by one point. It's a move that, honestly, the Cleveland Browns are very familiar with. Did I not load the ink? I thought I packed that up, too. Dang it. Now look at this. Look at the problems we're having here with this truck. And this truck never gets stuck. This road is a disaster. Thankfully, once again, we don't have to come down this again, I don't believe. Because the next conveyor is, like, back where we were. Where, if you saw, I went the wrong direction. That's where that was. So... All right, so I'm gonna, we're just going to stop forward motion here, and I'm going to pack that last pack on the ink and then try to get the ink out of the way. Stop engine. Change trucks, and we're going to pack the cargo. And that's how we did it. Do I want to go forward or backwards? Let's think about it. I'm going to probably go forward. If I can, I'll drag the ink across, but I want to. We're so close to the end here. And then we got to come back one more time with metal. Once again, I'm going to attempt to cross the river with those metal beams. She's talking to her villagers. Oh, God. And we're just going to low speed it here. We are really struggling. And even at this slow pace, nope, I'm burning 11 liters per minute. It might end in suicide, though. She promised them it wouldn't end in murder, and I said it might, as you heard, end in suicide. All right, I should be able to reach now. There we go. That, this will help. There we go. Now we got a tree. We can pull ourselves across. We've got to be really careful which way we turn up here because this, this gets really confusing. You can see the conveyor running along the top of that ridge there, so that... It's a bit of a marker for us. Dang, just this is such a deep water pit. I can't get through it. And we're just having to run at super low speed. Now we're able to move out a little bit better as we get on ground that is just a, a hair dryer. A hair dryer. <laughs> it's a hair more firm. Mm -hmm. Parts of it are a little too firm and making the truck pop up and lean. Oh my god, this is just a bottle. I'm going to run out of gas. Please don't run out of gas. There's the facility right there. I mean, you can see the building. Uh, <laughs> do you guys talk to your villagers when you play Minecraft? <laughs> I do. <laughs> I talk to my animals. I talk to my villagers. I'm like, what is the matter with me? I'm talking to this inanimate object, uh, but I do it. <laughs> I guess I talk to my dogs and stuff too, so. Speaking of dogs, you want to go smoke and take them out because someone smells like it's farting. Some, one of the dogs is farting. No, it's not me. It's one of the dogs. 
They're going to end up pooing on the carpet. <sighs> They're asleep. Somebody's got gas. Okay, this is, how are we going to turn that sharply? Oh, gosh, it didn't leave us much room. This is how I went over in the first place. It was an area like this. You got high, high steep sides and a truck that doesn't want to turn. So what happens is it leans on both sides until you hit a spot and then it just falls. We can do this, though. We're going to do this. I think we got it actually. That was that might have been it. And there's still some fuel to burn. Uh no 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 okay. God dang it. Why? And that's what I'm talking about. I'm not even not sure how to fix that because it's like it's gonna the back wheels are tipping the truck over. And even though I'm on the cliff, there we go. Now the other side's going to fall. Dang it. These roads. Okay. I would say, look how close we are, but I would say we are not done yet. Law looks good, but we're not done. And i got to bring another truck through. I just... I want to bring another twin steer through, but I just, I'm so afraid of them tipping, obviously. Even if I come across the river, I still have to go through that little section. Though, you know what, from the other side, it might be easier. We'll see. Okay, so here's this. So we've taken care of the consumables. I'm going to pull this twin steer forward and just get it out of the way. We'll deal with these later. Now we need the ank to come across. Once I get the ank in, I'll switch back to fast mode, and we'll get this mission done, and we'll call it an episode. I'm not sure how long these episodes will be because I've never done the, the stop motion before. Or not spot, stop motion, but uh, what do they call that? Uh, time lapse. Where's the ink? Ink. I think we'll be fine with the Ank. The Ank actually did better than the Twin Steer. I almost feel like grabbing a second one of these and doing the metal with this, with two of these tied together. Because these, this truck, even though it's smaller, like like our f f uh, Freightliner, um, it's just more agile, and it can fit through these tight roads better. So this... I might just grab a second one of these and we'll get the job done. Slowly but surely, inch by inch. The nice thing is if we come across the river like we did, we I don't think we have to go through this part again. We come in over there, so we don't have to go through all this muck. But it's making it. Just you gotta be patient. Oh man. Oh no, it's doing great. It's just slow. But the twin steer was slow too, and we've already been through here in the twin steer, and this truck is just pulling across and no problems. Taking a lot of gas, but so I can speed it up now. Just leave it at low. It doesn't change speeds when you switch gears, so that's it's a good sign that you were in the right gear in the first place. I can 
almost feel the mosquitoes biting me in the cockpit here. Nope. And this is just solid mud. But this truck is making it, so there you go, guys. The Ink is a good truck, better than maybe I've ever given it credit for. But still. So I'm assuming this episode's going to be almost an hour, if not at least. Maybe it's going to even be an hour. I don't know. We'll see. Once again, we're getting on a little bit more solid ground here so we can pick up speed. And then we'll go back in the muck again. Come on, over here. Can you not grab? <laughs> yeah, this does not definitely doesn't go as fast as the twin steer through this. And I am concerned about fuel. Because we are burning through it. with our Whittle tank. Nope. Bash your way to glory, Inc. Come on. Mm. <sighs> 83 liters left. <laughs> Come on. You can do it. That's a good truck. And this is where we come up when we cross the river. From there, I believe. This is, I believe, the entrance. And this should take us right in. Yep, there it is. So that was a much better route, and we've gotten the first, actually, two thirds of this mission done. So we should be able to finish this easy peasy. So once I deliver these two things, we'll go back to fast mode. We'll grab the two sets of metal beams. I'm going to grab one more ink uh, and maybe. Uh, I'm going to hold on to the twin steers, but uh, I'm going to leave the freight liner where it's at right now just in case we need it. But I think we should be able to get that those metal beams across the river without an issue in this truck. Those big wheels keep us from tipping over, too. They're quite a bit of a help. So there's the next two items. Okay, so all we got left is the metal beams times two. I'm going to go ahead and get that arranged, and then we will you'll see me pop out with the anks, and I'll get them set up, and we'll get them to cross the river. So I will be back in just a moment.
So we are closing in on being finished with these missions, and the Ankh made it easy uh, on this mission anyway. Uh, and then we'll move on to the next conveyor belt section, and I'll give a little intro, and then we'll try to get conveyor two and and or well two and three done in the next video uh, as a fast motion type thingy. So. I think we're looking probably a little bit over an hour on each of these videos, but that means we'll have all of the main missions done on this map, aside from a couple, you know, cool missions that I want to actually film in full length, like using the 770G to move stuff. There's one huge trailer that has to move up a very difficult hill, and so we're going to try to figure out how to do all that. But uh, that was fun. So these trucks are great. I just wish they carried more fuel. That little trip took half a tank of fuel, and that was with a fill-up, and that's kind of scary. Um, but they're good for taking, it's like a, a, was it a dwarf? They're good for quick sprints over short distances. Oh, that's about it. That's about all they're good for. But the ink did make it easy, and I wish I would have done that in the first place, because that would have been a lot easier to get that stuff across right there. We just would have had to make a lot of trips, but it was slow going too. You're, you're seeing me move quickly. Oh, <laughs> shizzle sticks. So these are going to be good, and I'm going to probably keep a set of these running on the map because obviously we've needed them for some of these harder missions where the. The twin steer struggles, not because it can't go through it, but because of the the issues that the twin steer has with its um, ability to turn on some of these very small back roads. Let's try that again. They didn't show us it getting built. That was $11,000, though. That was a pretty big chunk of change for a pretty, I'd say, fairly easy mission, though in a terrible place. So... I'll see you guys next time. Have a great night. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up always help. And we'll see you on the continuation of Yukon Ho. We are getting done, finally. Big Salmon Peak is up next.